Hello everyone! After my last deep dive into Linux mobile phones, you all shared some amazing feedback. Let's cover some of the devices I missed and some updates about the devices I covered last time. The Shift Phone 8 is easily one of the most interesting devices I forgot to mention in my last video. They're building a modular device with repairability in mind. With over 13 user replaceable modules and hardware kill switches, these guys are taking hardware repairability to the next level. The device runs an Android 14 based operating system, but it does promise good ROM support for Linux enthusiasts out there. This device is just begging to have different operating systems loaded onto it. The Mecha Comet seems to be taking a completely different approach. Their hardware already exists. Instead of crowdfunding a device that might exist, their crowdfunding is more of a way of gauging interest. I'm not saying crowdfunding ideas is bad, but having a phone shipped quickly after a crowdfund would be a huge benefit. People are tired of waiting years for their device. I've also started looking into the software stack that Mecha is building. Their build scripts are written in New Shell, their desktop environment ditches GTK entirely and is written in Rust. Really interesting software stack that's completely different than Fosh. Just a quick correction from my last video, the FLX1 by Fury Labs does apparently have good T-Mobile support in the USA. While I can't independently verify this, I can say the developers at Fury Labs are easy to get a hold of and more than happy to answer your questions. As long as you're okay with an Android bootstrap approach to get modern Linux up and going, this is a fantastic option. If I had $550 spare, I'd certainly pick up one of these devices to play with. For those willing to flash their own devices, Postmarket OS works really well on the OnePlus 6, OnePlus 6T, and Google Pixel 3a. While these aren't out-of-the-box solutions, with a little know-how, they make for a great daily driver. Yola announced a new community phone, pretty exciting for those who are Selfish OS fans. Out-of-the-box, it runs Selfish 5 with Android app support. It's powered by an octi-core ARM processor with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. This is pretty decently spec'd for its price. If you're in the USA, it's always smart to check the LTE bands to make sure that it'll actually work on your cell carrier. From the modular design of the Shift Phone 8 to Yola's new community device, the mobile Linux landscape is really heating up in 2025. Thanks for watching.